right, welcome back to Bobby Bobby Blaze, Bobby Bobby Ford down here in Southeast Louisiana. Uh, I had a question by Mr. Steven on how to make mosaic pins. He said he finally did an epoxy filled pin, and I told him if I ever get a chance, I post a little video on my YouTube page on how to do an epoxy filled pin. And uh, the knife I'm working on right now, the LSU knife, uh, I'm out of pins, so I'm going to show you how to make a mosaic pin real quick. So it's pretty easy. You can get all your stuff from uh, Hobby Lobby. Different size brass, aluminum, copper, uh, big brass, big OD. Uh, on this one, I'm using a hollow aluminum for the center pin instead of copper. I think it's going to go a lot better with the uh, LSU. So what I do is I take my biggest rod and then I put all the little rods in it. And I'm not going to pull these back out because once you get them set in here, they're a real pain in the butt to get them back the way you want them. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven smaller brass pins, and then I have the small aluminum pin in the middle. So I stick them in there, get them straight, and then I pull it out. But not enough for it to come out of the tube, just enough so I could put the epoxy on them. So I use Loctite, uh, five ton, five minute set epoxy, it's fantastic. Hard to find, you can find it on Amazon, that's where I get it. So I mix it up, put a pretty good amount, and it's sloppy, so make sure you wear gloves. Uh, get your little popsicle stick. Uh, I use a catalog to stir my stuff. It's really cool because when I'm done stirring, all I got to do is rip off that page and throw it in the garbage. And most of the time, the catalogs you get in the mail are garbage anyway, so you really don't save them. So mix this up until it's uh, a nice consistency. If you ever used it, you'll know when it looks white like this. Uh, and this sets in, in five minutes. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting a ton of epoxy on these rods. Because when you put the pins in and you put your sealant in, it's going to soak down into the rods anyway. So I'll get it mixed up real good. And have a paper towel ready because you're going to need it. Alright, so that's mixed up real good. So starting at the bottom... I just go right up the rods, as messy as you want to be. I mean, this is this is a place where your school teacher in art class can tell you, hey, it don't matter if you stay within the lines. You don't want to stay within the lines. So just put as much of that on there as you can. And then take it. And you could, I'll do it this way. And just push it down. To where my last epoxy stop. Use whatever excess you have. Smear it on. Get it on there real good. And I always put a little bit on the top only because that end piece is going to get cut off anyway. Stick it all the way down. Take your paper towel. Smear off the goo on the end. Give it a little tap to get it even because this rod is a little bit shorter. And there you go. You have... A epoxy filled mosaic pin in less than three minutes you let it sit 5 10 20 minutes this one's gonna sit for a while because I still have to drill and uh, countersink the handles for uh, the LSU knife but that's it that's all there is to it and once you buff that out that uh, center pin is gonna stand out nice shiny aluminum with the brass around it it's gonna really add an accent to any kind of blade you want to put a pin into uh, y'all keep watching my videos Share them. Subscribe. I hit 1,000 views uh, January 31st. So y'all help me make my goal. Let's make me make another goal and hit 1,500 by the end of February. I'll keep posting. Get all your friends to like it and subscribe. All right, all right, all right.